They are an enigma, possibly the most complicated phenomena we've encountered and subject to hoax theories that stretch the sense of logic. They're so controversial you either believe they're real or a complete nonsense, yet they've provided perfect physical evidence. Let's examine. Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Code Blue, where we explore the vast and mysterious realms of unexplained phenomena. I am Thor, and thank you for listening. Today, we're talking about crop circles. The term was coined by researcher Colin Andrews in the late 70s, but that's not when it started. There's evidence dating back to the 1600s that crop circles appeared in the southwest of England caused by the mowing devil, according to local legend at the time. And in an 1880 letter to the editor of Nature magazine, that's Darwin's magazine, a researcher describes flattened crops that form mysterious and precise geometric signatures, with bent straws forming cyclonic patterns. Yeah, that was 1880. In modern times, however, it all dates to the 70s and 80s, with the epicenter, again, in southwest England and Wales, in the county of Wiltshire, surrounding the town of Aubury and the beautiful Vale of Pusey, where Colin Andrews and many others were on hand to investigate. This happens to be the same general geographic area that is home to the Cherhill White Horse and Stonehenge. Coincidence? We honestly don't know. But if you want to call attention to an unexplained phenomena, why not do it next to well-known enigmas? The nature of crop circles is that they most often appear overnight, during darkness, in wheat fields, in the countryside, and there have been very few to almost none that were witnessed to their silent and undetectable formation. After reporting their appearance and complaining about lost harvests, the farmers invariably mow them down and they disappear forever. But Pictures are generally collected, and many are analyzed along with samples of the fields and their crops. They're incredibly deliberate in their design. They have math and geometry, they're star mappy, sometimes depicting details of fractal theory, including the intrinsic designs of a snowflake, and how each edge repeats itself to infinity using a fixed set of mathematical numbers known as the Mandelbrot set that proposes it is a finite, repeatable form predicting building blocks that shape all matter. Sometimes they contain binary codes, messaging in ASCII format, that are deliberate and decipherable. My point is, they're incredibly sophisticated. There's even a crop circle that looks to deliver a message precisely echoing as direct response to our own Voyager and Pioneer message plaques sent to deep space in the 70s and 80s, depicting the human race, our technology, our size, as well as the location of our home planet and solar system. Hey, we're here, and we come in peace. Crop circles have appeared in Australia, Indonesia, Japan, Canada, the US, England, Austria, Germany, Italy, Hungary, Russia, and other countries. There are over 10,000 recorded crop circle formations around the world. All of this matters for what I'm about to tell you. The detailed description of crop circles formation, their multitude, global spread, complexity, sophistication, and accuracy must first be recognized due to the frustrating media and public dismissal of the crop circle phenomena as hoaxes accredited to unimpressive humans claiming they did all of them, which is then propagated by the media as the answer. Mystery solved? It's not. 
The most famous hoaxers were Englishman Bower and Chorley, who allegedly went to work on Friday nights carrying rough sketches, a warm stout, and lots of stamina, a wood plank, and a set of ropes to walk through wheat fields in absolute darkness, undetected, ever, without guiding technological equipment, just sort of winging it, allegedly capable of forming these absolutely gorgeous, impeccable geometric mathematical patterns. They would come back home and sneak into bed around 4 a.m. or later, according to their families, leaving a wheat husk on the kitchen table as proof of, well, they were out in a field. This, they said, they repeated every week, every summer, all over the place, for decades. The simplest response to this is, they couldn't have done it. No offense, but just look at them and their tooling. Compared to the crop circle accuracy, their binary code, fractal patterning, etc. Not a chance. And that you have to fight off such nonsense that should have been dismissed immediately frustrates real investigation and debate about their reality. Instead, it being upheld by the mainstream media and therefore the majority of the non-critically thinking public who chooses to believe it to go back to sleep as truth leaves the rest of us stuck debating their reality or not. It makes you seriously question the intellectual curiosity of the human race as a whole when safety first regarding credibility is the MO of the news media. As a footnote and a question, do crop formations continue beyond the grave? Because these famous hoaxers who likely made some primitive circles somewhere in the countryside as copycats for fun and for publicity while downing their stout, those guys? they've passed on. That they've accomplished 10,000 of them in over a dozen countries? Please. Not so strangely, Bauer and Chorley never recreated the most complex crop circles for the cameras as proof. And crop circles continue to form to this day. They've done an incredible disservice, and that's their legacy. Perhaps they had help. Two Hungarian guys came forward from the St. Stephen School of Agriculture and Technology in Budapest in the 90s, Gabor and Dallas. They too were responsible for all of it, even if they were barely born in the 70s when Bauer and Chorley started their escapades. Other random guys have claimed ownership in different countries, each on their own looking for their 15 minutes of fame. Perhaps they coordinated all of it multi-generationally, an international conglomerate a brain trust of the sophisticated, lifetime devoted, and carefully coordinated global syndicate of crop circle hoaxes, for no reason at all other than the thrill, the fame, and the heck of it. Physicists have attempted to explain it away as the work of prankster humans, suggesting the most sophisticated, accurate, and complex formations can be explained with the help of GPSs and lasers. Problem is, those things did not exist in the 70s and the 80s, when the Bowers and Chorleys were at their best. Thanks to actual research by the likes of Colin Andrews, Patty Greer, W.C. Lemongood and others, the physical evidence left behind, the crop circles themselves, show detail unexplainable by a wood plank and a rope. There's a peculiar bend in the wheat stalks as well as traces of electromagnetism consistent with microwaves. The stalks are bent beyond their natural physical breaking point without breaking. Biophysicist W.C. Levengood studied the plants and wheat stalks using controlled groups of 10 or more plants in each group, collected between two and four days after formation. He discovered a significant anomaly in the affected stalks compared to those away from the formation. The nodes of the affected stalks showed evidence of significant enlargement. They could also be bent farther without breaking. He observed the stalks in every way stronger, larger, and more resistant. Attempting to simulate the effect, Levengood found microwaves able to replicate the outcome somewhat. Additionally, Tissues surrounding seeds on the top of the stalks exhibit elevated conductivity consistent with a high electric charge. In addition to the physical evidence, there's been a significant effort deciphering the images, looking for potential messaging, understanding the star maps. Several breakthrough studies have revealed, among other things, maps showing phases and sizes of the moon as seen from the Earth 
as well as solar systems unknown to us. Binary messages written in ASCII code when translated numerically include phrases like ET exists, beware of those who bear false gifts, using Latin Timeo et Ferentis, a direct reference to an existing original earth message dating to ancient Greece in regards to the famous Trojan horse that was a false gift bearing hidden soldiers, if we remember. Other binary messages have including phrases like EA, Enki, space, translates Earth is Enki's domain, clearly referencing the Anunnaki's leaders, Enlil and Enki. Another deciphered binary code states, believe there is good out there that opposes deception. Somehow doesn't put my mind at ease. There are rare occasions where a video has captured the perpetrator. This video is not a hoax, folks. It shows crop circle formation using airborne technology. It looks remotely controlled or pre-programmed. It behaves drone-like. It doesn't look to belong to the arsenal of known human technology, however. And this can be muddy in the age of remote controlled drones. But remember, crop circles date way back before drones existed. What you're looking at is the real creator, right here. This alone spells out crop circles are real and they're made by unknown entities using unknown technology, not made by hoaxers. They carry intentional messaging delivered with extreme sophistication. Our job is to continue to collect the evidence to decipher their meaning. That's how we will ultimately come to understand their purpose and origins. You can watch or listen to this and other podcasts of the Code Blue series on Project Blue Book and please check out bluebook.tv for more programs exploring the unexplained. It's free. Please subscribe and each day let's show compassion and kindness. I am Thor and thank you for listening. See you next time.